There's another MIDI effect I want to show you. We had the um, MIDI delay and the arpeggiator and stuff, but I haven't really covered the uh, note to controller effect, which is also part of the newer firmwares on the arcade. I've got it hooked up now with the Waldorf because this one has a lot of controllers to change the sound and I can show you with something expressive like a filter how you can use this effect. I've got this sound here which... No, there's no... I can like emulate the velocity effect. I could map it here on the Waldorf as well but uh, first I'll find out which controller has a good effects response. I think was number 80 which I looked up earlier Let's see yeah so I now remap the filter on the mod wheel and I can hear that it's uh, effective now I can go to the MIDI effect section in the alt 9 menu go to the right and I can select FX 1 2 and 3 I'll use FX 1 and I set it to one of the effects under digit 4 this is the node 2 controller modification. Uh, if you press it once you see velocity to controller, press it again you can see key to controller and press it another time you can see random to controller. First I'll demonstrate the velocity and I will also switch this effect onto track number one on which I'm playing with seven. It's activated, I don't hear anything anymore because the note on is actually now replaced with a controller value. Uh, here I can set the parameters on which the controller data will be generated. The gain is like you can exaggerate the velocity response that it will uh, rise quicker to the max value. The controller value is 0 to 127, which is a typical range of MIDI controllers. I can set a base offset, so like the softest value it will send out. And I can set the controller number. Well, I found out that was 80. And gated this is for node off which i will demonstrate with another use of this effect with node off you can reset the value to the base value again and original through is like you also through the original node and you add the controller value to it like this and now you can already hear the effect it has i can change the base value to some higher value because you hear the resonance a bit too much. And I can change like the gain to a bit lower value. So well, there you have it. Uh, what it actually does is now it sends a note on, it sends a controller with it to change the filter. So this is one use of the effect note to controller. What you can also do is use this effect to get like a sidechain effect. For this I'll just set this first track again to normal play and I'll go to another track. Yeah, like this one. Which has a direct evolving pad sound on it. I can record something here first. Okay, I can quantize it a little bit, um, and the note length as well, so. so now I've got the strings filling up the track completely, and I can use another track, which I will select this note effect, and now I will change this to like a maxed out controller value on note on. I'll just put this to 50 and I'll reset it to absolute zero on note off because I will also set gated on here and this controller number I'll change to number seven because that's a part level controller. So what I've now set here with these parameters is note on is full on, this 127 max level, note off is zero and controller number seven I'll reset the value on note off and I'll, I don't want to hear the original note coming through when I play something here. Um, maybe you've already guessed what I'm doing now. I'll just press play. And when I press the note, now I have actually made a MIDI sidechain gate effect like this. I can put a 
gate pattern here. I can change the note length, which I just played. Make it very, very short and the RK8 will then send out very short pulses of level changes. So, this is the other effect of the um, Note to Controller. Then there is of course the random, well, you can guess what you can do with that. You could put a random effect on the velocity. Um, therefore, I can go back to channel 3. And I'll change the effect a little bit here again. Uh, velocity gain to normal. I would I had 50 or something here. Uh, controller number 80. And gated off original through. Yes. Yeah, there it is. Okay. And now I'll I don't use the linear uh, effect here. I'm going and I'm pressing another time for random. I can just now sequence a single sound here um, of that. Yeah, okay, I can just enter a single step. So this is always the same uh, velocity, set a loop point, and now it's randomized. So you can use the randomization to make a track come alive a little bit with random velocity changes. I can exaggerate it. Or just a little bit. So, yeah, that's it. Well, you probably have some other nice uses uh, for this all. Can't wait to hear it. Uh, have fun with it. Bye-bye.